One of the four main Celtic seasonal festivals, Beltane was celebrated on May 1st to mark the midpoint between spring equinox and summer solstice, when cattle were moved to the summer pastures. Rituals were performed to protect cattle, people and crops, and to encourage growth. Special bonfires were kindled, whose flames, smoke and ashes were deemed to have protective powers. All household fires would be doused and then relit from the Beltane bonfire. These gatherings would be accompanied by a feast, and doors, windows and livestock would be decorated with yellow mayflowers. Samuel and Catherine Brownlee have returned home in celebration of Beltane on this May 1st, with the help of local artist, Jessica Berkeley. The foundation was able to secure small portraits of the Brownleys from the Historical Society of Pennsylvania. Ms. Berkeley then used those portraits to create a pair of stylized paintings for Catherine and Samuel. The portraits serve as a wonderful addition to the Brownlee House Heritage Rooms, which have been curated to tell the story of how wealthy Scottish immigrants, like the Brownlee family, might have lived on the 19th century American frontier. In creating the portraits, she incorporated the fashion of the time and matched the color palettes to the rooms in which the portraits would be displayed. She chose to have the young couple facing each other from their respective rooms. If you look closely, you will see a hint of the Brownlee family tartan in their clothing. Samuel Brownlee commissioned the construction of this stately home in 1848 as a wedding gift to his wife, Catherine H. Clark. Catherine's portrait is displayed in the Zug family heritage music room. This space would commonly be referred to as the ladies' parlor. Catherine's elegant gown is decorated with delicate lace that complements the peach hue of the room. Her jewelry is made from lapis lazuli stones accentuating the blue in the tartan. Samuel T. Brownlee was the descendant of a Scottish family that moved en masse with many other immigrants to this region following the French and Indian War. Samuel's family became successful sheep farmers. Samuel's portrait was designed with a common hand in Westcote pose. The gesture was found in portraiture during the 18th and 19th centuries to indicate cam leadership. The deep red background of the portrait complements the lush green and red color palette of the room, a common color combination of the period. Welcome home, Mr. and Mrs. Brownlee.